Hello, how you doing? Today we're doing a presentation on Keynote. I'm going to show you how to animate a background, um, it's line if you like, shape, whatever, um, to make it look like, for example, you're brushing your finger across an iPad or an iPhone. Uh, just to animate your presentations a bit more, and where we use this in real life, we did a presentation on basically an app like Paint. And we just wanted to illustrate it in our keynote presentation, and this is how we did it. So, what you're going to want to do is go to Safari, just type in finger in Google, go to images, and it's this image. Oh, not that one, this one that's you want. Oh, maybe not. Anyway, just copy it for now. Uh, there you go, copy image, brilliant. Um, minimize that. Go to Keynote. That's basically what we did earlier. Just do file, new, white background. Going to get rid of this. Going to get rid of that. Uh, paste it in. Now, as you can see, I want to make it a bit bigger. Just drag it a little bit. I've got the black background now. It's a pretty um, cool tool. If you collect the image, press alpha at the top, hold it down there, and drag down just slightly. You can kind of see like a little circle appear. Where the background, you know, who you want it about. Should I get it over there? Click away. Brilliant. You've got your finger there. Also, I want to turn the uh, image a little bit, so I'm going to hold down Command, go to the top right hand corner, and I'm tilting it down a little bit. Okay, next, go back to. Safari. I'm going to type in iPad blank. <coughs> um, you know what? I'm going to go for uh, Copy it, paste in there. I'm gonna send that to the back. I'm gonna make this bigger. So at the moment, we've got our iPad and this dodgy looking finger thing. I'm next gonna open up my shapes. I'm gonna click this one here. Shape automatically appears. I'm going to go to my inspector, click build. I'm going to change the stroke. No, I'm going to change the piece to a different stroke. I'm going to increase this to 20. Uh, 20. I'm clicking it up. I'm going to make it a bit longer as well. Uh, actually, I'm going to change the direction of it. Right, looks like a little skid mark, doesn't it? So I'm going to change the colour. Uh, go red to fill in that for me. Right, so I've got this line on my iPad now. And what I want to do is go to build. Wipe, that's what we want to go to. Wipe at the bottom. And we want to do right to left. So if I just play this already, okay, you can see already what we're trying to do. Um, but exit out of that. 
Now, I've got my hand here. I'm going to select, I'm going to right click it, bring forward, and I'm going to tilt it a bit more. Remember, press down command so that I hide the stroke. And on the hand, I'm going to select action and move and what it does it gives you a duplicate of the hand if you look at the small window you can sort of get an idea that you can move it wherever you want to be honest move it there if I wanted to but obviously for the purpose of this I'm going to move it here because I want to show that we're stroking out the That'll do. Press play. Pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, so that's pretty basic. And then all you've got to do, um, you can copy that. Um, add more do more options so you can do automatically with build one which is the stroke and then change the stroke to automatically after transition um, you can do then for example a build out on the hand um, which would be that um, let's have a look pretty nice I'm just going to do an action on that to automatically after build 2 and then what I'm going to do is just to show you you can do it on I'm going to get another shape up again that make that 20 switch it around a little bit um change the color that red again and we are gonna go back to the build action move no sorry not move um build in like already left to right is pretty good i'll go to more options Automatically after build three, um, so we'll leave it there. Yeah, so I've got that. All I'm going to do is then press paste because earlier I remember I copied the hand. Rotate it. I'll move this around a little bit. Put that there. Go to my build like that. And hopefully, because I've copied and pasted it, hopefully it won't go funny for the other one. I'll do play. All oh, right, yeah. No, no, I've got to do. <coughs> yeah. So then all you got to do is. one you say start build 
Also, actually, let's deal with four because that's a lie. So what we did there was build in and appear automatically with the line. You know, you just follow these steps that I'm doing, it's pretty easy. I'm just sort of talking myself through it again. Let's go. Pretty cool like that. Not intended to be a tick or anything. Um, and then the move's going to have a build out. And it will be like QB set. Uh, not QB. This bit is cool now. Um, that is going to be automatically after build six. I'm going to delay it by two seconds. Okay. Play that for the last time. There you go. Pretty cool. And what I hope to do by the end of it would be minimize that is to do something pretty easy like this. So finger moves, it's yellow. Finger moves again, it's yellow. <clears throat> Mix of triangles, you could be showing, for example, an app which helps with maths or something. And that's my simple tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching. Have patience with me, please. This is only my third one, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much. Yeah.